Kodoro. Kodoro. Kodoro, yes, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm in a hurry. Where are you, man? I said I'm on Uzumba. I, I was saying I'm about five minutes, so I'm about three minutes away now. Okay, make it fast. Make it so fast. I'm just going to turn it. Make fast. Yes, but I need to know exactly where, where exactly are you? Are you at law school or I'm, I'm at, no, no, I'm at law school. Law school? Yes, law school. All right, you see me in a white Nissan. Just, you see me in two minutes. White Nissan. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you have aircon, right? This place is hot. Sorry? You have aircon. This place is hot. You have aircon, right? Okay, guys, uh, it's quite unfortunate. I don't know if you guys called what was happening there. South Africans are currently from their own country, directly from their own country, booking Nigeria taxi driver over here in Nigeria. Wasting our driver's time, precious money, for and risking their life. That's exactly what they are doing. They are infiltrating with our peace of mind. They are infiltrating with our unity. They are infiltrating with our, with our security. That is what South Africans have, have decided to do. They are so jobless to the point that they just sat down and think like, okay, who are we going to drag now? And the next thing they have in their mind are Nigerians. So, individuals will just go to boat. Both up or Uber up, and their switches to Nigeria, book Nigeria taxi drivers, acting as if they are in Nigeria, and of course putting a location in Nigeria, wasting drivers' times. Like a driver will spend like up to five minutes to get to that place where they are talking about, and guess what? They are not there. Wasting their fuel, wasting their precious time, and putting their life into in in risk. What of us you booked and something happened to that driver? Most, most definitely the, the, the driver has wasted for it. So I don't know how the boat hub, the boat executive or the Uber executive will do about this. I don't know how they're going to do it. It seems like there's a pure straight hatred from South Africa towards Nigeria. This is hatred now. This is no longer joke. This is no longer joke. This is pure hatred. We have never in our widest imagination thought about this. For anybody to stand up to think about, oh, let us make some Nigerian life unbearable and miserable, and to come up with this idea, and other Af South Africans are also doing it, that should let you know that they have straight, straight hate. Towards us. This is not a joke. Person will say that they cash crews. We have never decided to cash crews like that before. We never do it before. We have never done it. Never, ever, ever, ever. Have I seen a Nigeria person who just say, Oh, I want to cash crew with, with some South African taxi drivers and start booking a South African taxi driver all the way from Nigeria just to waste their time? Come on, man. This is no longer funny. It's no longer funny, guys. It's no longer funny. So, now, Nigeria, how are we going to pay back? Yeah, we must pay back. I don't know how we're going to pay back, but we must pay back. They did us. They beat us one when it comes to Chidema's case. They beat us twice at the Sanya versus uh, Drikos. Now, they are beating us again. In fact, this is not the first time, in fact. They beat us during uh, the attack on foreigners in South Africa. Now they are beating us again. Since we are no longer their problem, but it seems like they still have the same problem, and we are no longer in their country, they still want to start bashing us right from South Africa to Nigeria. All because we decide to carry your women. That is why we decide to punish our men. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ah. Well, to all my Nigeria brothers in South Africa, this war, yeah, that declared war 
soft wall is not any serious it's soft wall they have declared social media soft wall and i think we have to repay back the best way to defeat a man eh, is to take over their woman that is the best way there is no any other defeat to a man that to take over his woman once you take over his woman if that man likes let that man end his your life but the defeat is still there. You took over his woman. So I think the best revenge here is to take over their women. In the rightful way, in the lawful manner. After all, we already have the swag. We have the money. We have the we are slick. We are very, very okay. So to all the Nigerians over in South Africa, make sure you go after their women. Software, treat them nicely more than them because they are already a loser all those guys they are losers that's why when you talk about south africa you can hardly even point out any guy the first thing you look in south africa is the women after the women the tourist attraction after the tourist attractions then what again then you see nelson mandela after nelson mandela then you see uh, this other very very nice guy um, Malema, right? Malema. After Malema, I don't think there is any other man in South Africa except maybe DJ Ma Mapuriza. Or maybe then we talk about Lucky Dube that you guy killed. Then we also talk about AKA that you guy killed. Apart from that, I don't see any other male person that is so, that, is, that, that can even get our own attention. Then you talk about the yeah, Makifi Zulu, the man there. Then apart from that, no other male. Tell me, is there any other when when you think about South Africa, what first come to your mind? What first come to your mind? The women. The women, the Zulu cultures, the women. The, the, the men are overshadowed. Maybe because they are drug addicts, maybe because they are they drink beer too much. How can you guys all the way from South Africa decide? to start booking Nigeria taxi driver, wasting their time and putting their life in danger. All because you are bored in your country. If you are so bored, why not carry a plan card and go and ask of a regular light in your country? Maybe ask of a protest for women protection in your country. Since we know that's one of the, South Africa is, we should be known as one of the most countries that is so violent towards women. Why not do that for a change? Why not carry a placard and protest on behalf of your women? Instead of doing this, just imagine the time you will spend calling somebody all the way from South Africa to Nigeria to deceive that person. Just spend that time on fighting for injustice towards your women. Because we fight for injustice for your women more than you guys. That's why your women are running away from you. And... Chidima is currently in Nigeria. You know, they were expecting us to bash Chidima, to, to drive Chidima away. We can't. It's not possible. Chidima's father is from Nigeria. His mom is from Mozambique. I don't know how he got, the, got in South Africa. But then again, she was a toddler in South Africa. Obtained a South African identity. Spent so many years in South Africa. Now I want you to, we want to become somebody in South Africa. You say, no, you cannot become somebody in South Africa. You must go to another country. You deny Chidema. Now we are embracing Chidema. What is now your own matter now? We are embracing Chidema. You guys are still angry with us for embracing Chidema. You want horse to drive Chidema away. Chidema is part of us. And she will always remain part of us. Always remain. Part of us. Hello. Hi. Hi. So I want to ask you, how's your flight? My flight is amazing. My flight was amazing. So tell us, please, what are your expectations now that you're in Nigeria? And Chidema is in Nigeria, so most definitely I'm even rooting for her to win. So don't be surprised. She actually wins. Yeah. Don't be surprised, she actually wins. And uh, please, to all Nigerians, uh, make we don't fall into that trap of trying to fight our own, you know. 
trying to bring controversies. I already said that when Barry Dagman was saying this and that about Chidima, I said this was not the time for controversy. This was not the time to bash anybody at all. She's in Nigeria. She represents Nigeria. And she will always be welcome in Nigeria. And she can participate and achieve the greatest height in Nigeria as long as she's in Nigeria. Hmm? As long as she's in Nigeria. The same thing goes to every other foreigner out there who, who is from Nigeria. Just know, Nigeria is always open for you. No matter where you go, no matter the years you have spent there, even if it's 80 years, and you, as long as you still have life in you, you can always come back home and achieve the greatest height that you wish to achieve for yourself. So let us not get that twisted. The storyline still continues for Chidima. And you see how South Africans have, have, have made it their own way to make life unbearable for us. But we Nigerians, we are strong. And you know, nobody beats us on social media in Africa. In the world self, I don't think anybody can beat Nigeria on social media. So we need to show them now what we are made of. Hmm? So guys, thank you guys for watching. It's your boy, Adam Slink. Catch you next time. Peace.